Hello, this is the acrylic painting course for beginners and the lesson number three is shadows and highlights. The shadows and highlights in a painting give the subject shape and form. Highlights and shadows give your artwork depth and dimension and it takes it from a flat image to a three-dimensional object that attracts the viewer's eye. When light hits an object, it forms highlights, where it directly touches the object. The areas that are hidden from the light are shadows. So it's important to know where the light is coming from in order to get the proper placement of highlights and shadows. So how to create highlights and shadows? I'm going to show you three different ways. The first will be adding black for the shadows and white for the highlights, like in the tints and shades swatch we created the last class. The second way is by using complementary colors to create shadows, because when these colors are mixed, they cancel each other out, producing a grayscale color. This is the most common way used by artists. And the third way is using analogous colors. These colors are close to each other on the color wheel. Let's start with the first sphere. I'm going to use the colors cadmium red, white and black. First, we have to fill the entire circle with the base color, in this case it's red. Now, we start applying the black color on the opposite side to which the imaginary light reflects. Then, we have to apply white where the light reflects. we are going to create the shadow with the complementary color in this case is green and for the light I'm using white You can see how intense is this shadow that we are creating with the green. It's even more intense than the one created with the black. I'm not gonna use the colors that I just beside the red 
but instead I'm going to use uh, yellow for the lights and also sienna tostada, burnt sienna for the dark colors. Let's start again with black for the shadows and white for the highlights. The middle color is Thalop Blue. For the shade, the complementary color to Thalop Blue is this cool orange made up with lemon yellow and crimson red. If you want to know more about the warm and cool color wheels, you have to watch then the first class. I am leaving the link in the corner. For the next sphere, I'm going to use light lemon, green for the light and violet for the shadows. Here I'm using the color cadmium yellow, white and black. The complementary color of yellow is violet and we are going to create the shadows with that color. For the last sphere we are going to use light yellow, yellow and orange.
I hope you like the class and subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna be sharing many more videos. See you in the next class. Bye bye.